welcome to another short and sweet where the samples and reviews are short and it's really sweet that they sent them to us this one is brought to you by cnc bourbon factories what we like to call them <laughs> cecil and coleman kenny and ryan at pursuit series I or uh, pursuit spirits i should say yeah yeah also bourbon pursuit podcast for sure uh we have both the bourbon and the rye so what a treat. Let's start with the bourbon first. So this was put together at Bardstown Bourbon Company. Uh, it is not the same blend as they have done in the past. Um, mm -hmm. This one, the blend that they had done in the past, apparently that was specific, you know, sources were not available. So they worked with Bardstown Bourbon Company to put together something that was similar. Yeah, the uh, mash bill that they went ahead with, this new mash bill has a little bit more rye in it. So. I can smell it. Oh. One away proof, great proof. Love it. Yeah, I definitely think you get a little bit of that extra mm. rye showing through on the nose. It almost has like a spicy caramel note. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. The nose. Well, okay. I like it. To your health. Wow. A little bit of nuttiness. Yeah. Caramel. Oh. Almost reminds me of a candy bar in yeah. a way, but it has like a, a spice. Um, I mean, I guess it's like a faint cinnamon or like an allspice, something like that. It's mm. kind of shining through. Giving off a really good uh, both mouthfeel and finish. Mm. It has like an also just a faintly, maybe a hint of like a minty note mm. towards yeah, the finish. Yeah, yeah. It's just a little bit of light, bright, almost refreshing. Probably from that high rye. I think so. Mm -hmm. hmm. Pretty long finish. I haven't gone in for my second sip oh, yet. I know you have. I have, second and I was Sarah. about to go in for my third. <laughs> uh, pretty, pretty decent uh, hug here. Second sip now. A little honey, mm -hmm. honey, mint. Um, yeah, almost the like more a little cocktail-ish uh, feeling happening yeah. there sometimes. The more I sip it, uh, the less I get that like upfront nuttiness. Yeah, but it's there. That nuttiness is there, almost sort of in a buttery way, like an yeah, almond butter buttery. type mm -hmm. of. Oh, liking that. I like to play with the honey in that. It's nice. Uh, okay. All right. Shall well, we? we got two here. Yeah, we yeah. got we got two. This is a the longest short and sweet we'll have because we're a double short and sweet double short and sweet all the way okay before we move on to the rye i want to take just a second to tell you about our home on the internet it's whiskeyambitions.com it's where you can get this new t-shirt uh the glasses here actually i wore this one because this is rye or die on the back we're, we're about to do the rye to have the rye but also we have our copitas rocks glasses water glasses bottle cut candles uh, barrel stave coaster and cigar holder. More always coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And then it's where we release our exclusive barrel picks, the opportunity to participate in a barrel pick and another round with us after most Friday episodes. There you go. Okay, the rye, also 108 proof, also $65 MSRP. I guess you would say it's closer to a Kentucky rye. This isn't like your 95.5 rye. It is more corn heavy in there. Right. We okay. don't know if it's fairly legal or not though, because no. we don't know the percentage. And after the success of the uh, last year, the 2021 rye release, they decided to 5X their their supply of it. So mm. there's there's um, close to 10,500 bottles. Ooh. Okay. So this one is a blend of Kentucky and Maryland. There's a mintiness in there, but it's very faint, and there's something really cozy about the nose. Sort of like comfort food-esque. Right, it kind of smells like a lot of baking and things are going on in the kitchen when it's colder outside or something. Experiment very and, fall, and eucalyptus. Winter, yeah, kind of, kind of. Relaxing. But see, these are sometimes my favorite things whenever something is mysterious like that. Mm -hmm. It's a feeling more than just I can pinpoint. All the notes. Yeah, so I have a, a soap, I'm not saying this smells like soap, but I have a soap that's spearmint and eucalyptus and it's called Calming and I love it. And I'm sort of like, this is calming. So mm -hmm. that's why it says spearmint and eucalyptus. I find it, so whatever it is, it's soothing. I like it. Ah. Right, let's taste it. Ooh. Hello. Yeah, this is giving me like cold weather, cozy yeah. feelings. Mm. I definitely picking up that Maryland in there mm. for sure. There's a little bit of dill in there a little not a killer because i hate pickles tell but you that much dill is this an herb not a pickle it's a pickle yeah warm good mouthfeel and it has like a built yeah building warmth with them um, some baking spice and i still get a little bit of honey on this one too yeah honey and yeah it's like a spiced herbal tea it's very warm and cozy it feels mm -hmm. like yeah sipping a big hot mug of tea yeah that's probably spiked with honey in it Definitely and it's spiked. really tasty i think maybe that's that like cozy comforting 
feeling that I can't quite put my finger on. It's more of an experience of, yeah, sitting in a cold room with a blanket around you. You're and a picturing big, reading a book. A big mug of tea and a good book. Yeah. And it's settling into, I think 108 nice is hug. actually um, a pretty solid proof for a rye. Sometimes I feel like ryes don't need to be quite as high proof as bourbons because they have that, you know, minty, powerful spice, eucalyptus feeling. It really settles in here. Right. So if you're looking for something to get as a, the months grow colder, I'd say, pick this one up now so you have it for later. Yeah. The question is, mm. the bourbon, the rye, or both? <laughs> Initial thoughts, both, but if we're looking like which one do I like more than the other? If you have to choose. Well, so both is a cop out. <laughs> let, me go, let me go back to the bourbon. Ooh, but going back to the nose on the bourbon, it is definitely that like gently spiced caramel. Yeah. With a hint of wow. nuttiness. It's like the gooey part in the middle of, um, a Snickers or something. I don't know, but just that center part, right? Yeah. The nougat. Or it actually kind of smells like a Twix. Oh, I like that. Oh. This release of this bourbon is up there in my book now. Hmm. We could talk about putting this in the best of the year contention to see where it shakes out. Well, I'm going to throw a just wrench saying. at you because I feel like I'm leaning more towards the rye. I do love that nose on the bourbon though, where it kind of makes me think of like a Twix. Ooh bar yeah. or something um but the rye overall like i really love the mouthfeel i just love the play of the spices and the warmth and the coziness so i think we should maybe mm. toss both of them in there okay well i'm down for the uh, especially with the price 65 bucks 65 bucks is yeah. a fair price 108 is a good proof uh full bottle if you're wondering because you know we, that's what it looks like we do like them and, and we've and these are samples gotten them in the past so uh, that's what the bottle looks like. Well, there we go. Um, that's where we'll have to leave it. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thanks, uh, thanks Kenny and Ryan. Mm. Until next time, drink more bourbon or rye.